Alright guys mate we're just going to show you how to uh, get the BRC program first of all open your browser that pops up type in the uh, search bar Hawk Optics Google it up here Hawk Sport Optics go through their website you should get this screen here uh, go over to the screen there, you can either download the Chair Gun Pro, we're going to be downloading the Hawk BRC, click on that. You need to put your email address in here. Send me the BRC now, click on that button, click download now, and you'll get this little screen come up. You need to save the file, I'm not going to because I've already got it on my PC, so I'm going to be closing that, but you click on that one and save and run the file like you normally would. Uh, any other program you're installing. Right, let's have a look at the Hawk BRC. Open it up. Right, here we go. This is what the Hawk BRC program should look once you've downloaded it. Right, this is the uh, scope view. That's a picture of the SR12 reticle, which is the one that I have on my BSA R10. Um, it's zeroed at 30 and gives me aim points all the way down to 77 yards. Um, the green line there is the one that the straight one straight through is the zero line. All these other lines in colours represent the uh, the markings on there. That's the uh, arced travel of the um, of the pellet. Up in the top left hand corner here you can enter uh, the specifics of your air gun. ED value or effective deterioration, scope height, the range that you will zero at and the magnification. Um, as you change the magnification on the scope um, your aim points change so that's important. Right next to range finder let's say we're looking at a 3 inch target. Just change this down to uh, 10 mag right you've got a 3 inch target if it fits between there between the gaps between A you're roughly at 41 yards if it fits into this bit you've got about 21 yards so this bracketing system on the SR12 reticles allows you to range fight quite well a bunny's, a fully grown bunny's ears is about 3 inches so that's always worth looking at The next thing along the line is this, the scope label print utility. Just change this, you'll notice the aim points, this will make location changes, all the aim points changes, that's important to remember. Um, if you do play with the magnification on your scope, your reference points will change. Right, this utility here, um, it will actually print out that screen, that little screen that you can see there. Just click that print button, uh, and you can change the size of the labels it's that set for two inches but you can change that up and down great little thing I have them printed out and I have a little chain round my neck with those on um, so I don't need to reference that in the field uh, you can make the boxes smaller you can open and close things to change the uh, the layout just close that right going up into the top left hand side the uh, menu bar uh, in the utilities bit, uh, units bit, you can change from imperial to metric, and there you go. You can see that in the utilities bit, you can you know you can choose other options like the scope. But you can get the scope label utility to pop up in here. In the caliber presets, you've got a load of presets rounds for rim fire, air gun, center fire, slugs, and sabots and also for crossbow as well so it's not just for us air gunners um, anybody with, you know, with a rim fire or crossbow can also use this as well um, in this section, the reticle section this is where you can choose the reticule that you have I have the SR12, I've got a MAP8, a MAP6 and I've also got MAP Pro um, there, there is settings for mill dots and other scopes as well. Pretty much any scope that you'll have, um, there'll be an option for it on here. 
right if you close it if you go to close it you get a chance to save so if you set all this up you've put your effective deterioration in and so on um, you can also uh, you can also save your settings so if you save you've got a 177 with a 1.6 um, scope height etc once you pull those details in and set this up you can save your settings there um, I haven't obviously just for this demonstration um, but it really is a great little tool um, it's free to download you don't have to have a hawk scope I do use the hawk scopes myself um, but like I say you don't have to use the hawk scope provided you've got one of the reticles that are in the program alright go smoke here uh, I don't mind telling you that video was a complete and utter pain in the arse to do um, but I hope it's uh, helped you find the, the you know how to like, download it and showed you uh, you know the potential it's got I use it all the time uh, and absolutely love it anyway that's the scope that was on about on the R10 uh, it's a Hawk Sidewinder 30 uh, with the SR12 reticle I love it uh, and I don't like the BSA R10 I love it it really is the mass. Um, I've just had the barrel carbonise as well. Uh, those of you that are familiar with the R10 know the barrel it finishes right down here. Um, Dave Wellham down at Air Masters has just shortened the barrel on that for me and it literally is absolutely pellet on pellet. Alright, so uh, I want to sign off. Cheers for watching the Ghost Smoker. Uh, Ghost Smoker's workshop again. Uh, Wait, turn that bloody music off. Wait, what are you trying to say? Bloody shit. Wait, don't you know who I am? Oh, really? Wait, I'm the bloody dance maker. Some people.